Hello everyone. Welcome to 360 on History, your one-stop resource for blogs, podcasts and videos on science, history and nature. Please check out the website 360onhistory.com. Join us on social media and subscribe to 360 on History podcast on YouTube. You can also subscribe to the audio version wherever you get your podcasts. The Arabian Desert has been known as just that, a desert, including in archaeology. It was thought that there had been no Iron Age activity in the area. The Iron Age was around 1200 to 500 BC. However, research conducted over the past 30 years or so has slowly changed the knowledge and understanding of the habitation and culture of this area. And not just from the Iron Age, but long before that. Thousands of stone structures first discovered in the 1970s and which are from 6500 to 2800 BC through to the present have been identified across the region as well as the whole of the Arabian Peninsula. They range from burial markers, tower and pendant tombs and open air structures also known as gates the gates are now known as mustatils meaning rectangle in arabic studies of these structures conducted using satellite imagery and aerial surveys identified almost a thousand mustatils in al ula and khaybar areas of saudi arabia an additional 39 mustatils were found through ground surveys of al ula which revealed a number of previously unknown features recent excavations now show that the mustatils functioned as ritual structures in the 6th millennium BC making them one of the earliest and largest ritual monuments this means that arabia housed one of the earliest ritual monument sites older than the stonehenge and the egyptian pyramids While some observers had suggested that the mustatils served as animal pens or traps, the researchers of this new study say that their walls were not high enough to contain animals. Instead, they point to ritual activity, as is evidenced from cow, goats, sheep and gazelle bones, all animals that could have been ritual offering. However, there were no human remains. and there also does not seem to be any domestic occupation of the sites what is even more fascinating is that radiocarbon dating of the bones places them to between 5300 to 5000 bc this means that they are 2000 years older than the stonehenge and the egyptian pyramids the mustatils are made from sandstone available in the surrounding landscape and are between 65 to 2000 feet in length the study has characterized them into three types simple complex and double most of them feature certain components such as a head courtyard long walls a base and the ca- in the case of the complex types a series of associated features including circular cells and niches The head is generally characterized by a rectangular platform made of either sa- sandstone slabs or local stones placed higher than any other part of the structure. The overall stone structures have an open, elongated and empty courtyard with the head at the top as well as a base and boundary walls. Some complex types also have stone structures and standing stone pillars. and some had doorways blocked by the humans who used them perhaps to indicate that they were no longer in use it also seems that the empty courtyards were also used at later dates to build funerary structures by subsequent human populations other platforms related to the mustatils have also been found in the same range many of which are oriented parallel to the mustatil either next to its base or outside the long wall the study authors suggest 
that both the mustatils and these other platforms had some sort of a related function. The researchers also think that climate variations during the late Pleistocene, that is from around 129,000 years ago, and the early Holocene, that is around 11,650 years ago, resulted in migration of people and dispersal of technologies in the region, similar to what has happened everywhere else in the world. The animal bones and horns offer the first evidence of a Neolithic cattle cult in northwestern Arabia, considering that cattle was a valuable commodity of the early pastoral inhabitants of that area. This has been obvious from rock art found in the region depicting scenes of both cattle herding and hunting. The Mustatils therefore could have functioned as monuments for the cults or as territorial markers potentially denoting ancestral pasturage or some other form of connection with the landscape, according to the study. The authors also suggest that the Mustatil tradition may represent the development of cult ideology in Neolithic Northwestern Arabia. Of course, more research needs to be undertaken to understand human settlements from that time to further clarify the situation. But the concentration of the Mustatil suggests a dense occupation of Northwestern Arabia. As the authors conclude, the scale and form of these structures make them unique to the region, highlighting the robust local component of the Arabian Neolithic. As such, Mustatils may become key in articulating the regional and interregional relationships present in Arabia during the Middle Holocene and one of the earliest large-scale monumental building traditions known to date. I am pretty sure that we are going to be bombarded with a host of new research and information from the Arabian Peninsula in the near future and I can't wait. Thank you for joining me on 360 on History. See you again soon.